Okay guys, so this weekend I forgot to take my Roku remote home with me. Um, and of course you have the Roku remote app, but you have to connect it to the same network. And when you take the Roku stick outside of your house, um, you have to reprogram it to new Wi-Fi. And so obviously nothing can connect to it when it's not connected to Wi-Fi. Um, and so I came up with a solution and I can't believe it worked. Um, a very creative solution to this. You're gonna need one, your Roku device, Two, you're gonna need a cell phone capable of producing a mobile hotspot. Um, this pro or this uh, tutorial is gonna be done on iPhone, although it's the same process on Android. And then uh, third, you're gonna need a secondary device capable of running the Ro the Roku remote app. So you can have you know um, another iPhone or uh, an iPad, something to that effect. And then lastly, you're gonna need to know what your internet uh, ID and password is. Um, like your SSID and password uh, of the uh, last known internet connection that you had. So your regular home one. Now, I have the Roku device powered on and I have the device that I can use right here. So I'm gonna launch the Roku app. Obviously, it is connected to my regular Wi-Fi and the Roku is not connected either. So we want to enable the hotspot on our phone. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings, go to general, about, and you want to change the name of your phone to whatever the SSID, the Wi-Fi name is. So in my case, it was ATT200. Now, you want to go to your personal hotspot settings, and you want to change your password to your internet's password. Click done, and that is your next step. Okay, so we have now connected this phone the uh, remote device to our phone's hotspot, which is ATT200, which is my last internet connection that I use with my Roku. As you can see, since I have turned it on, I actually am connected because I have just tricked my Roku into thinking it was connected to the last uh, Wi-Fi just by using the same um, ID and password. So what we can do now is we can exit out Go to the Roku app. We can launch uh, the Roku app, searching for devices, and lo and behold, there it is. You can select this Roku, and now go down to where it says remote, and you have the Roku remote, and it works. So now you can use your, your remote device here to go down to settings, and you can change your network back to what you need to have it as.